A year after Amazon released its first internally built TVs in the Fire TV Omni, comes the release of the improved Fire TV Omni QLED. New this year are quantum dots for richer colors, full array local dimming for increased contrast, and an optical room sensor that enables an ambient experience. But is it enough of an improvement to upgrade from your current smart TV? That depends on how much you love Amazon services. I've been testing the 65 inch model and we'll leave a link in the description if you wanna check it out for yourself. Let's get started by talking about the picture quality. With last year's Fire TV Omni, I mentioned how impressed I was when it came to brightness and rich colors when compared to similarly priced competition, but I'm not as enthusiastic about the more expensive QLED model in this same area. In terms of brightness, you're getting a peak of about 575 nits, which to me just doesn't cut it at this price range. A lot of people will ask me, how bright do you need your TV to be? And the answer is that it's not about overall brightness. I don't need the entire TV set to blast me with light. However, peak brightness allows things to shine and sparkle. A sunrise, diamonds hitting the light, fireworks, light bulbs in the background. When these are in a scene, you want them to look accurate and the mixture of peak brightness and contrast is what makes this happen. When that firework pops off, just those pixels need to be lit brightly while the rest of the display stays at a normal brightness. And that's where the magic is, especially for HDR viewing. And that's where the Fire TV Omni QLED struggles. Now, when it comes to local dimming zones, Amazon says you're getting 80 of them in this television and they do a very good job of making everything look uniform. It's hard to pick out those zones. A lot of times on less expensive TVs, you can tell where the different zones are, but not so here on the Fire TV Omni QLED. That said, the TV does also support Dolby Vision IQ and HDR10 adaptive thanks to a built-in sensor. These picture modes adjust the brightness curve of the TV based on how much light is in the room, but I didn't find it very helpful for the Omni QLED in particular, since it just doesn't get very bright in the first place. When it came to color performance, things remained fairly average. I was hoping to be a bit more wowed since the Fire TV Omni QLED costs a couple hundred dollars more than similar competition from the likes of TCL and Hisense. But to be honest, I don't think picture quality is where you see the value for your money here on the Fire TV QLED model. Thankfully, the TV does have some other tricks up its sleeve. Moving on to audio. This is one area where the Fire TV Omni QLED actually punches above its weight class. Don't expect sound that will rival a dedicated surround setup or high-end soundbar, but it definitely sounds way better than I expected. TVs in just about any price range, cheap, expensive, they typically don't have fantastic sound, but in the Omni QLED's price category, the sound is normally pretty trash. So Amazon did a good job here at making the speakers sound good for the price. That said, similar to the less expensive Fire TV Omni, the QLED version supports the super cool Alexa home theater feature. What it allows you to do is pair Echo speaker devices to the TV wirelessly and use them as wireless surround sound speakers. You can pair two Amazon Echo or Echo Studio devices to the TV and get immersive audio with Dolby Atmos. You can also add in an Echo Sub to even get better bass. I was impressed by how well this works and using two Echo Studios gives you sound that is so much better than what you'd get from the TV. And since they're Amazon devices, they aren't even that expensive. Do that and you'll have a really great audio experience. When it comes to the design of the TV, the Omni QLED is available in just two sizes, 65 inches and 75 inches. That's it. So if you're looking for something smaller, you'll need to grab one of Amazon's non QLED Omni models or look at a different brand entirely. It's been said by others that the Fire TV Omni QLED looks like the TCL 5 series from a hardware perspective. And once I heard that, I really can't unsee it. The feet style and placement, the metal backing and microphone slash sensor area at the bottom all match up. And by the way, those feet can only be placed near the edges of the TV. There's no way to put them more centered, which means you'll need a TV stand at least that wide to hold the TV. The power cable connects to a port on the left side of the TV's rear panel, and all the other ports are on the right side, including four HDMI ports, one of which supports eARC, a USB port, an ethernet port that does not support gigabit ethernet, but thankfully the TV supports Wi-Fi 6, 
optical audio output, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and a 3.5 millimeter port for the included infrared blaster and an antenna slash cable connector. Next, let's talk about the smart TV functionality because one of the best things about the Fire TV Omni QLED is that it runs Fire TV OS so smoothly. Compare this to Google TV or Roku TV OS television sets in similar price ranges and it's just night and day. Fire TV OS on this TV flies in a way that makes it feel like you're using a much more expensive LG or Samsung television. Built-in apps also load quickly and using Alexa to control everything works as fluidly as you'd expect. Connect a webcam and the Fire TV Omni QLED lets you make voice and video calls with Amazon's drop-in service, Skype or Zoom. And this is where I think Amazon poured most of the value into this TV, making it an actually smart, smart TV. Think of it as a giant Echo Show device where Alexa can not only play whatever TV content you want it to, but it can also control all your other Alexa capable smart home devices hands free. It also provides useful information like weather forecasts, sports scores, and your calendar ambiently on screen in helpful widgets when the TV isn't in use thanks to a built-in proximity sensor. That same sensor can automatically turn off the TV when no one's in the room, saving you power in the process. I think this ambient mode will be the biggest hit with buyers. Aside from the optional widgets, you can have it display your photos or other built-in artwork, making it into a great looking art piece in the room. And that auto off feature integrates with the art mode so that if no one is in the room, the TV isn't just displaying art to no one. I like this so much that I wanna see every TV and computer monitor adopt this to cut down on wasted electricity. Once the TV detects someone is in the room, it'll simply bring the art right back onto the display. The Amazon Fire TV Omni QLED resolves some of the main issues I had with the previous model. While it should definitely be brighter, its contrast is much higher thanks to better black levels and its color range is wider and decent out of the box. Where the Omni QLED shines is the seemingly limitless set of features that Amazon's Fire TV platform provides alongside the hands-free Alexa integration and ambient experience. While I'd ultimately look elsewhere if I wanted a TV primarily for gaming, the Fire TV Omni QLED is a great buy for the price, especially if you're an Amazon Prime member and someone who uses Amazon services and Alexa compatible smart home devices regularly. Those are my thoughts. Drop any questions down in the comments below. I'll meet you there for further discussion. Thanks for watching as always, guys. I appreciate your support. I'm Andrew Webers, and I will catch you in the next video.